What's up traders? This is VTrades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Virgin Galactic Holdings with the ticker symbol SPCE. I will first go over what I see uh, see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So last week Tuesday was, is when I did my analysis for SPCE. It looks like prices had this huge move down and we didn't see any follow through. So the expectation was to see you know continuation towards the downside uh, because of a measure move target. So this looks like one complete leg down market moves in two so it could have started its second leg right about here and it could it should have been targeting or traveling uh to the mid one dollar level because that's the measurable target however there is this very strong support in the way so we can't just ignore that either so there's there's two market participants there's a buyer and a seller in the market so buyers want to do their own thing and sellers want to do their own thing so basically you can think of it as a battle it's not really a battle going on it's just traders, you know, moving the market in the direction that they see fit. Uh, so you can see that sellers are trying to reach this mid $1 level because that is the second leg down. I mean, they can still get there as long as we don't break above here. This target still holds uh, because we could just go a little bit more higher and then start seeing another drop lower. However, at the same time of sellers trying to reach that measurable target, the bulls are trying to reach their own. So you can see that all this is one leg up. And if I move it to where the prices stop selling or stop uh, dropping from, it's targeting the 557 level, which is back up to this horizontal line I drew. And why did I put these two horizontal lines on the chart? Because they are the key levels. This was where the big moves are occurring in the most recent time frame, probably within the last uh, six months. So you can see there's very strong support at the 328 level and very strong resistance at the mid to high $5 level. That's where these big sell-offs are occurring, and this is where all the big buying is occurring. So that's why these are the key levels. So since we just hit this level again, uh, what do you think is going to happen? If this was a good buying level in the past, it could be a good buying level in the future. So that's where we're seeing this move up higher. And also, since we just dropped straight down right into support with no follow-through, uh, this is kind of weak, and we could see that second leg up to the 557 level. So our market moves in twos. So we might see two legs up and then maybe the uh, sell off um, after those two legs up. So that's what looks like could be occurring. Uh, and that is very common in the market. So we saw two legs. We saw one large leg down. It's very common in the market to see a two legged correction for another large leg down. And this also works in reverse, meaning sometimes we see one large leg up two legs down and then another large leg up. So the market moves in twos. So this will be the center of the pattern. So right now in the short term, it looks like we could be seeing higher prices for SPC, um, maybe to the five mid $5 level and maybe even higher. We'll have to wait and see. But as right now, uh, we did just slam right into a very strong support. So uh, there's a good chance this will probably continue to push up higher. Uh, so I'll be looking out for that mid $5 level. Uh, if we just start seeing aggressive selling occur, then like I said before, the sellers are trying to reach the sub $1 level because that, that would be a measure move lower. So we'll see that occurs. Um, and right now, you know, it's, it's kind of balanced, meaning they both have their chances to reach it. It's not really like a strong downtrend. So exam for example, here, this was easy to say that prices were con going to continue to drop down lower because you can see the price is trending in a particular direction here. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to see a reversal point, meaning, you know, is this the point that sellers have stopped uh, and prices have stopped dropping and we're going to see higher prices? It is likely, but it could also pick up again. But as right now, I think the bulls are uh, dominant on the, the price chart. And I think they're going to be seeing we're going to be seeing higher prices for SPC. So that's all I have on the daily. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. So here is the weekly chart. You can see that. Um, I would have to zoom in to look at the more near term price action, which is right over here. And we can go back all the way to right about February of last year. So it looks like there is this downward channel in play. So if I connect it from the lows, because that's where we're getting, we're getting the most touches, I bring it up to the highs. You can see how well it's fitting. You can see that price is still within this channel, which is not a good sign. Uh, so there's really no signs of weakness in this downtrend. However, the good news is that we have started to see that sign of weakness. We haven't seen a break outside this channel, which which would be even better for the bulls because that would show a more severe sign of weakness. Uh, but one sign of weakness is that this level right here that uh, sellers are un unable to pass through. So they, if we hit the top side of a channel, it will reach the opposite side. Just like over here, we hit the top side, we reach the opposite side. We hit the top side. In this case, we cannot reach the opposite side because this mid $3 level is acting as a strong floor. 
So prices try to regroup and we went back to the resistance side again to drop down price one more time. But look at the $3 level held once again. So now this could be a trap for the shorts who entered into a potential support. So right now it's a converging point because you see this downward channel in play uh, and price just got rejected from it. We have this EMA, which is gonna be acting as overhead resistance because it's been a downtrend and you can see that it's acting as resistance. But however, we have the support in play. So what do you do here? Uh, you just wait uh, and, and let the price play out. Uh, but if I were to say what's more likely to occur is you probably don't wanna make a move first because now once they saw the sellers take a move, they can do the opposite because they noticed it failed. So there's a good chance this whole green red candle will be taken out and we probably see the stop losses hit right above the $5 level into the mid $5, mid $5 level. So that's how I'm looking at SPC. Could be wrong. Uh, this is my opinion. This is how I'm viewing the market. Um, so right now it looks like we could be seeing higher prices, but just as likely as we can go up is we can go down. I'm just saying that since we just got, saw that move made by the sellers, I think this is a trap and it's probably gonna lead to higher prices. So either way, I might give an update next week, Tuesday. This is VTrace, thank you for your time. The VTrade's technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now.